I would hate for you to use your good credit to apply for something and then you get approved for it, you think it's a line of credit and it's really not. And it doesn't function the way you want it to function. Okay, we don't want that to happen. So we gotta make sure that we are applying for the right thing. And I want to warn you that the banks are not gonna exactly help you in any way. They're going to convince you to go a different route. They're gonna say, no, that you don't want that. That's no good. Get a loan or, you know, get a this, refinance. Okay, they're gonna, it, it's, it's all a trick, okay? And then when you're asking questions, they're gonna confuse you with their responses. So for example, if you say, all right, uh, hello, so a ABC Bank Credit Union. I'm looking to obtain a line of credit. Uh, do you guys offer that? And they say yes. Yeah, we offer loans. Whoa. Do you guys offer a unsecured line of credit? Just re rephrase, rephrase the question until you get yes, we offer lines of credit. Cool, you got past that part. Second question. All right, are your line of credit, is the line of credit revolving? And is it simple interest? If they say yes and yes, cool. Now, you wanna figure out, cause they're gonna respond back to you and they're gonna say, yeah, uh, when you ask how is the interest calculated? Okay, cause there's many different ways that they calculate interest. It's, you know, the, the main ways is simple and amortized, but there are some changes that can occur, like especially with the simple interest. So they'll say something like this. You'll be like, is it simple interest? They'll say, yeah, it's, uh, it's simple interest compounded. And that might scare you at first. You might, whoa, wait, simple interest compounded. They're gonna say, yeah, it's, you know, it's the interest rate compounded monthly, right? That is a trick. That is a trick right there. Okay, because simple interest, okay, in a way can seem like it is compounded. For example, if you have a $10,000 debt on a credit card at 25% interest rate and you're only paying the minimum payment, then yes it will be compounded. You're, you're literally gonna be paying like double interest. You're gonna be paying interest on the minimum payment, right? Which is, you know, on $10,000 on 25% interest. Oh my God, like all of that minimum payment is going towards interest. And then on the back end, you're getting charged interest on the whole amount as well. Okay, so that can really uh, hinder people from, from getting that line of credit. I want you to get that because when we're doing velocity banking, we're not paying the minimum payment. We're not making extra payments, okay? We're doing chunks each and every month. We are flipping the money. We're velocitizing the money over and over and over again, okay? I'm telling you, they, these banks play games, man. They play games. That's why you got to make sure you read that whole thing and make sure that it's designed properly.